Welcome to your below the belt workout. Now this advanced lower body routine assumes that you have already mastered proper form on all of your squats and lunges. Be sure to go at your own pace, listen to your body, and just do what you can during the workout. Now you will need a pair of dumbbells and a mat for this session. Start off with five pounds and advance your way up from there. Let's begin with the warm up. Let's get started with some high knee marches. You're gonna lift your knee all the way up to your chest as high as you can, using those arms to really get your blood pumping, your heart rate up, and get that lower body ready to work. Now from here, we're gonna move into some squats. Feet are hip width apart, you're sitting back into your hips, reach and pull your arms back and forth. Make sure your knees are tracking right over, but never going past your toes as you sit back into that squat position. Good, now we're gonna hold the bottom of the squat here, shift the weight into one foot, and then take the other leg back and forth. Using your arms, just tapping the toe lightly, going to a one-legged run. Keep your back nice and straight and your abs drawn in. Now we're gonna go back to those squats. And get ready to do that run on the other side. So you're gonna hold your squat at the bottom, shift your weight, lift that heel, and tap that foot in and out. Great job. Now go grab your weights and let's get started with our first exercise. Side lunge to crossover tap. So pick up your weights carefully, keeping your back flat and your abs tight. And we're gonna begin with your left leg doing 15 repetitions on this side. Take a wide step out, lunge down, and then reach the weights overhead as you tap your leg across your body. Make sure to keep the toes light on the floor as you tap the leg across and think of squeezing your inner thighs together as you reach those arms overhead. Nice, give me one more rep here. And let's go ahead and reverse that on the other leg 15 times. As you get stronger and more flexible here, you may be able to reach even lower to the floor with your hands or your weights. So just think about sitting back into your hips and go as low as you can, reaching those dumbbells on either side of your lunging leg. Just give me one more rep here. Nice work. Now let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise, a sprint lunge to balance. You're gonna step forward with your left leg and lunge all the way down to the floor like a sprinter about to take off. Now push down through your standing leg and try to stand up with the back leg completely off the floor. Now if that's too much of a balance challenge for you right now, feel free to tap your back toes on the ground until you're ready to try lifting that back foot completely. Make sure to keep that front knee lined up right over your ankle as you lunge down to the ground. Pressing all the way down through your heel, you should be feeling this all the way up the back side of that leg and into your glutes. Good, now go ahead and hold this one at the top and let's go ahead and switch to the other leg.
Okay, here's your last one. Hold it at the top and let's move on. Next, we have our scissor power switch. Now you don't need your weights for this power move, so set them down and let's get ready to do a cardio interval. Step one leg forward, reach down, push off, scissor your legs and switch. So you're just gonna keep jumping here, reaching down towards the floor as low as you can. Try to do as many reps as possible, take a break sooner if you need to. We're almost to our active recovery here. Good, now we're gonna take a breather and do some reverse lunges as an active recovery to bring the heart rate down. But if you need to, you can also just stand and take a breathing break as well. Okay, it's about time to repeat that cardio interval. Are you ready? Reach down and let's begin those scissor jumps. Couple more here. Nice job. Go back to those alternating rear lunges or just take a break. Remember, you can always press pause and grab some water whenever you need it. Okay, let's move on to our forward diagonal lunge. You're gonna need your weights again, so go ahead and pick them back up. We're gonna alternate legs for 20 repetitions here. So you're gonna step out on a diagonal, lunging to the floor, keeping your back leg extended, letting that back heel come off the ground. Push off through your front foot, and think about squeezing your inner thighs together as you stand back up. You also wanna make sure that your back is staying nice and straight, and you're pressing up with a flat back as you return to that starting position. Okay, just give me two more to finish up this set. Nice work. Let's move on to lateral plyo squats. Go ahead and set your weights down because this is another cardio interval. Start by alternating with a side squat position, sitting back into your hips. And we're gonna come back to this when it's time to recover. Are you ready? Let's take off. Give me a push through the legs. Use your arms to jump off the floor, moving quickly side to side. Really spike that heart rate. Good, now recover again with those squats. Take some deep breaths here, catch your breath. We're just gonna repeat those squats one more time. Really push through your entire foot to get off the floor. Here we go. Come on, couple more, you got this. Nice job. Now go ahead and take a 15 second water break. You earned it. Okay, that break is over, let's get back to work. Kneeling roundhouse kick is next. Go ahead and lower yourself down to the ground on top of your mat on your hands and knees. You wanna keep your back flat and your abs drawn in and you're gonna extend your front leg out and in. So make sure your leg is extending through a bent knee position, you're pointing through your toe and imagine that you're striking a target with the top of your shoelaces and your shin. One more, good, and let's switch to the other side.
quick form check here. Make sure you're not leaning too far over to the side. You want to aim to keep your shoulders and your hips square to the floor. Keeping your abs drawn in will help you do that. Last one, and let's move on. Hip extension and cross is next. Lower yourself down onto your elbows, clasp your hands together. Extend your front leg and then bend your knee, tapping it behind your bottom knee. You wanna keep the extended toe pointed and think about squeezing your inner thighs as you bend that knee across. Couple more here on this leg. Make sure you're not sinking into your arms or your back. And let's switch to the other side. Good, really watch your lower back here. You wanna make sure as you extend the leg that you're not arching your back. Keep your abs in tight and think about pressing your elbows down into the floor. Great job. Let's move on to prone hamstring curl. Lower yourself down onto your stomach, open your elbows, and rest your forehead on the backs of your hands. You're gonna curl your heels in and out towards your body. Now make sure both of your knees stay lifted off of the mat the entire time, but your heels and your knees can separate as you bend and extend your legs. Think about pressing your feet in towards each other as you bend your knees. Make sure your shoulders are staying down and away from your ears and your abs are still drawn in tight towards your back. Now hold your heels in and give me a pulse up to the ceiling. Really squeezing through your glutes, you can open your knees wider to the sides here. Try to press your feet together. Are those muscles burning? Good. Let's move on to our plank lunge stand up. We're almost done. Go ahead and come up from here, go find your dumbbells again, and let's move on to our alternating leg plank stand up. So you wanna begin in a plank position on top of those weights. Abs are in tight, step one foot forward through both of your hands, push down, stand all the way up through that leg. Return to your lunge, step back to your plank and switch sides. Now you wanna make sure that the heel is getting all the way down to the floor as you step through your hands. If you need to take this a little bit slower, feel free to slow this down to make sure that you've got great form on that lunge, keeping your knee behind the toes at all times. This is a great way to develop dynamic strength and flexibility through your hamstrings and your hips. Are you feeling this move? Good, you're almost done with it. Okay, last one, you can do it. Nice job. Now go ahead and set your weights down and let's finish up with our figure four stretch. Now if you need to, hold on to something for balance, but cross one leg over, sit back into your hips and reach your arms forward to really stretch the outside of your hips and glutes. Good, go ahead and bring it up, switch legs, take some nice deep breaths here, calming down your heart rate, relaxing the body. And let's go ahead and stretch out your hamstrings next. Slide your hands down your legs as low as you can, stopping wherever you feel the stretch down the backs of your thighs. 
relax your head forward, and slowly roll up through your back. Take a nice deep breath in, and you are done with your below the belt workout.